partner. And then whatever you can make out of it, you can turn into a sweet grape, you can catch them into a, uh, what do you call it, into the uh, saddle, if you can, or ankle, whatever it may be. But, but look, let's, cause your objective is to sit them back and down on their left side, and you gotta be on your right side. Because that's, you're catching your legs with your left arm. You can't be on your left side in this position. You gotta be on the right and they gotta be on the left. If you're catching their legs on your left side. So now, what's interesting is this. You have an ankle, so once you feed it correctly, here, 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 right? Okay? I keep scooting back, because he's gonna keep fighting it whether he stands up or whatever it may be. Sometimes I can just get him up here, just lift him up here, okay? But Jean's been smart, he's been leaving his foot back here. And this one maybe I can get here, okay? So now I have one, okay? And now, what I've also noticed is that I have this one, I'm just gonna control it here. So my left hand can reach for the back foot. But what happens here is that as I begin to elevate him here, he decides to roll towards his, you know, yeah, right there, look. And you still have the ankle right here, just because they turn. This is like a knee bar. Okay. If he kept turning here, you have an ankle lock. So if he rolls to defend, you have that ankle. So it just matter where you create out of it. Or he's going to the bottom, you're going to the top, and you have a sloppy worm sweep. One, two, three, all right? So if I can get his foot on this side, whether it be lifting it up like this, okay? Now, he doesn't want me to bring this leg over. He's smart because he knows he's gonna get caught in the saddle, right? So I have this one here, okay? And I start lifting him here, but you see how I already have this ankle here? So he decides to roll, and you just roll with him. And you basically have just a straight ankle lock because you have the foot caught. You don't have the foot caught, you keep trying to sweep him. You catch an ankle, hold on to that ankle. There's a couple different ways to lift. Because I can elevate him fairly easily, like so, that, and I can just lift him up. Right here. So you have an ankle. And you're good to go. A couple ways to lift, and I would like you guys to be able to elevate them. Because if you can elevate the person above you, you're gonna be able to catch something. A couple ways to lift, look. Got your one, two, three, here. This foot just lifts up, okay? Now, sometimes maybe you can go here. Now you have this right here. I have this ankle. Maybe I'll reach here, but he puts it out of, out of reach, look. You already have the ankle from single leg X because in essence, this is single leg X worm type thing. Okay, watch. Over here, and here, and here. Right now, this would be more of a like X guard, but I don't have, or deep de la Hiva, but I don't have enough space because of the belt right here. But what I can do is, one, so look, this right here, isn't that single leg X? It is, you see? So you have this, but I'm so deep underneath him, he cannot get off this hook. He just, he just can't. If this is bent and this is hooked, he can't pull it out that way, and he can't push your knee. Try to push my knee to slide your hip over my knee. He, he can't, because it's all, pushing into here and into here. So as you're here, lift them up, okay? And I'm lifting with both, right here. Now you have the near ankle. Before we had the far ankle and the inverter right here. Let's throw more on this side. Okay. I think that what you guys should focus on and make this easier for you because I struggle with this 
is how to get at least one foot to my left side, let alone both feet. If both feet come to my left side, I'll get them in a the saddle, no problem. So lifting was the key. So one, two, three, here. Sometimes you're right up the center. Sometimes you're more towards the near foot, okay? Sometimes, you know, if they're standing, maybe that, yeah. See right here, he's not going anywhere, okay? You can double up on this right here because that motion will lift his leg. So I'll push him away, pull him back in, and lift him up. Okay. See that? Because look what I did here. I pushed everything up. Okay. So you have you double up both on it and you lift him with the hook in two hands. So here is just a loose saddle. I'm just gonna get it here because I have this ankle here. And I just need to bend his toes. Here, here, heel hooks. Everything you need. So just practice lifting. One more time, last one. The lift is the key. Because you gotta understand the person's not gonna want to be lifted so that they don't want to get sweat. Let's see here. So get here. Show you a little bit of resistance here. So what he does, it's smart, rotate a little bit looking forward, he tucks his foot under here, because it creates a hook, so it's harder for me to lift him, okay? But I can use that in order to take him over this way here, and keep this right here. And then I, was that Shindon Nuts? No, it's inner thighs. Oh, inner thigh, okay. Well, there you go, so it's an inner thigh slicing. <laughs> so if he jams his foot, prevent the elevation, hook it, and then just push him with the shin. He's got nowhere to go, and just take him over. So we're here, one, two, three, you're on the lock up, yeah, see right there. So we're here. So this all loose, I gotta tighten manually. So we're here, <clears throat> but notice how I'm not on my back. I wanna be here, because I have mobility. Jen, what would you do to uh, fight this? I'd try to keep your knee down and fight the, uh, fight the grip. Fight the grip? Yeah. Wow. That'd be too much. I would say probably a lot. So much control, it's crazy. Okay, you just have to understand. Yes, it's an awkward, type of weird looking position, but man, he is not going anywhere. So, what I would like you guys to do is this start this way right here. He's going to be down on one knee, you're down on your bended left knee, you're going to feed it, you're going to hook it, you're going to reach and tighten it so there's no slap. Now, you're going to get here, okay. And now from here, you're gonna work because your goal is to get that foot up. So what I can also do is, is that the pull, push. See how you can push that ankle and lift it? It's like a shin to shin, but your hand is the shin. Or, just simple, you can start here, here, feed it, hook it, here, hook it. And I would keep this up here, switch to your other hand, and just get to here. Because you still have this, he's got to deal with this right here. Because this keeps his knee off the mat, you know? All right, let's try it, one, two, three. So start with the top person down on their left knee. 